Shalom. This is Jim as Hanan sit down coming back with the lesson. I want to give all praises, glory, and the highest honor to Yahweh Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Kakudash, the ones to the other apostle, Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the elect out there, the spreading this word is sustaining the truth all over the four corners of the earth. Gone. <coughs> I'm uh, about to head out, see if I can find a spot where I can go over. Uh, know an in-depth lesson but uh, before that you know I'm here in the land of Aruba I have to do some things there and I was meditating upon how we conduct ourselves in this truth and how we supposed to conduct ourselves in this truth because if we don't conduct ourselves in a certain way towards this society towards this this government that we are under we will be in trouble you will be in trouble with the whip, the whipping stick of the Lord, which is Esau, the so white man. So we, we conduct ourselves a certain way, and we have to keep conducting us in a spiritual manner. Otherwise, you know, the most I really ain't dealing with you, man, if you get a carnal and shit, you know. So I was meditating upon a couple of scriptures. And really the point is that in everything you got to stay spiritual. You know, what does the scripture say? Be angry, but sin not. You know, so we are angry at the society. We are angry at the state that we are in. You know, we are angry at these devils telling us what to do. But it, it shouldn't uh, make us go off, you know, because of carnal reasons. You know, you beat them up. Or, you know, you go against the police. All of those things don't work, man. Because the Mosai sets up whomsoever he will. And he has set up the so-called white man to be in power, to be, to be in rulership. And he has set up the man of the Lord, the prophets, <coughs> to, um, to uh, fight them spiritually. With the, with the sword, but not the, the carnal sword, but the spiritual sword, man. We cutting them with the scriptures. So, that's really what we got to do, man. So, I'm going to hit a couple of scriptures and see if I can find a spot in the meantime. So, this is... Um, Romans chapter 13, starting with, it, uh, with verse 1. <clears throat> Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers, for there is no power but of the Most High. So in a certain way, you do have to be subject unto the, unto the power that the Most High has set up, man. You know, just like um, in the time of Samson, what happened unto Samson, man? He went to fight against those Philistines man and guess what the nation of Israel got angry because hey you know they got the rulership and we are under them and you know you 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 starting a war like this and we uh, we don't have the basically the power to go at war with Esau man and that's not the will of the most high neither <clears throat> so in a certain way we have to be we have to be subject man don't fight against them carnally that's not gonna work man the most high is gonna gonna beat you up for that whosoever therefore resisted the power resisted the ordinance of the most high yeah this is the will of the most high so if you're fighting against it if you're resisting it then the most high is not down with that and they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation yeah at a certain point the most high is gonna jack you up for that man it's not the time to fight against them it's not the time to, to um, get carnal the most I give the signal about one, when to get carnal and when not verse 4 uh, verse 3 it's lucky okay. cross the road it says um, for rulers are not a terror to good works but to evil to the evil will thou then not be afraid of the power 
do that which is good and thou shalt receive praise of the same you see so rulers are not the terror unto good works but unto evil so what's the point of that the most high can punish you with the rulers if you're doing evil if you're doing wickedness you will get punished man we got to stay in the lane and in the in the path of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. If not, the most I can punish you with these devils, man. The most I can punish you with the rulers. Wherever you are in whatever country you are, you know, the so-called white man probably ruling. So the most I can punish you with them. So you gotta watch out, man. You know, just stay spiritual minded. You know, and like the scripture says, um, Hey. Matthew chapter 5 verse 25 Agree with thine adversary quickly Whilst thou art in the way with him Lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge And the judge deliver thee to the officer And thou be cast into prison So Yahushai spoke unto us Saying you gotta be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove you know, if you're trying to show your thief all the damn time, you know, they're, they're going to get offended, man. They're going to get offended and they're going to get, um, I would say that, defensive. You know, if you scare a dog, don't don't look, um, I would say that, don't look surprised when he bites you, man. You shouldn't scare a dog, man. You know, but if you, if you talk nice unto him, you know. Dog will will wag his tail and he will come to you, man. Some dogs then. <laughs> Don't try it with all dogs because you know what. So <clears throat> there's a certain way we gotta conduct ourselves in, you know, walking in this truth and actually knowing better. Because we do know better, man. We do know better. You know when all kinds of shit is going on. We do know better, man. Are you supposed to learn to do better things in better situations, man? We are nations. Uh, we are a nation of kings and priests, right? We are learning to judge every matter. Because the scripture says what? First Corinthians, chapter two. Verse 14. Let me see. Let me start at 13. First Corinthians chapter 2, verse 13. Which things also we speak, not the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. You see, so in everything we gotta in everything we gotta be spiritual. We gotta observe, we gotta learn, we gotta practice. Practice makes perfect, right? So you can teach all these scriptures and know all these scriptures, but if you if you're not putting them to work, then it's worth nothing. And and that 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 knowledge that we bring through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashem is 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 not like like this this carnal knowledge that these people have. It's not like that. Certain situations that are carnal have to be handled spiritually too verse 14 but the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the most high see the natural man does not receive that you know so you shouldn't hang around with natural man neither you shouldn't hang around with these carnal people these worldly people because guess what they will get you in trouble man you know if you if you um <clears throat> If, uh, le let's use the example that I just said about the cops, right? You hanging with the carnal dude, you know, you trying to agree with thine adversary quickly, so to just get over with it. But then that dude that's with you, he's trying to fight off the police and stuff like that. Trying to make trouble, trying to make problems. But that's not, that's not what we should do, you understand? So then the way he acts towards you, uh, it's like the way he acts towards the uh, the cops that's gonna get you in trouble man so it says um 
looks like a scroll down up a little bit so it says but the natural man receive another things of the spirit of the most high for they are foolishness unto him neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned yeah because sometimes certain things happen you know to teach you a lesson or to make you sharp or to make you focused you know but certain people they are spiritually discerned they don't see the spirituality of it there was a guy in the camp i i used this example before his tire maybe busted like 20 times in a year because he was doing all kinds of wickedness and he's he was using his car for it so then i told him like so don't you think it's spiritual your your tire keeps busting what are you doing he said no he, he he thought it was normal i said man in like five five years my tire didn't bust and your your tire has been bust been busting over 20 times so what's going on you know he didn't see that as being spiritual he thought it was just normal because his rim his rim was fucked up no <laughs> the most i might use that rim to mess it up but hey something going on and eventually it became clear what was going on and that was that he was doing all kinds of wicked things on the side man you know with his car desiring to have more and more money on top of money which caused him to lose his, his very um uh first income which is what which was his main job you know um wait so it says, um, verse 15, But he that is spiritual judges all things, yet himself is judged of no man. You see that? He that is spiritual judges all things, but yet he himself is judged of no man, because he checks himself. He wouldn't tell you to do a certain thing while he's not doing it himself. That's a spiritual man. That's how he rules. So going back to Romans, chapter 13 verse let me see God, let me read verse 3 again for rulers are not a terror to good works but to the evil wilt thou then not be afraid of the power do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same you see that so according to your works, you get you you're gonna be treated, man. That's why the scripture also says this. Proverbs chapter 16, verse 6. By mercy, uh slakya. Yeah, let me start at uh, 6. By mercy and truth, iniquity is purged. And by the fear of Yahweh, men depart from evil. Yeah, you, you gotta have fear of Yahweh Basham Yon Shai, man. I think I see a dope spot. You gotta have fear for Yahweh Basham Yon Shai, man. You know, that, that's how you're going to depart from evil. Through the fear. If you don't fear Yahweh Hashem Shai, then you're going to keep doing what you're doing, man, in this wicked world. So you don't fear the consequences that Yahweh Hashem Shai is going to, can put upon you, you know? Um, let me see. Verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So when you please your Hashem Yon Shai, your enemies will be at peace with you. The most I can put the spirit upon these, these men, the police, military, whatever. It's holding you back, your boss. And be at peace with you, man. You know, not, not messing you up. Not messing you up in whatever situation you, you have gotten, man. I remember I was, I was driving and I was on my phone. Cops pulled me over and he was like, you know what? I'ma leave you this time. And I was like, whoa, okay. You know, I'm lucky, man. Tawada Yaw Bashim because that's like a 250 euro fine that I would get there, man. You know, if not more. So do what do what you gotta do, and the most I will will use uh, his whipping stick to, to, to be more calm, man. Or to have mercy on you. Which is really the most I have in mercy upon you, but through them. So it says, um, when a man's ways please the Lord, 
He maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. <clears throat> so going back to Romans. So that's when you resist. That's when you don't resist the, the power. And of course, in, in times of, of persecution and times of, of, of uh, their wicked devices, of course you got to resist that, man. That's a whole nother thing. That's a whole nother subject, man. Of course you got to resist them when, when they come and push vaccinations up on your children. Of course you got to resist them when, when um, I say that, when, um, when they come with the RFID chip, man. You got to resist that, man. You will not allow that. But that's talking about a whole nother time. That's talking about a whole nother time frame, man. You see? Um, verse 4. For he is the minister of the Most High. To thee, for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. You see? Because the Most High is going to use him to mess you up. Because guess what? That, that, that happened in the time that we get, went into slavery, man. The mo that's, the, that's the main reason we went into slavery under these devils. You know, because we didn't listen. We didn't listen to these devils, man. Aslaki, we didn't listen to the Most High. We didn't listen to the Most High. So we used these devils to, um, to mess us up with, man. Put us into slavery. Jack us up, you know, and Esau, Esau went, went along with it, man. He didn't know what he was doing. But most have put the spirit upon him. That's why the scripture says that. Let me read it again. For he is the minister of the Most High, to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the Most High. A revenger to execute wrath upon him that do it evil. You see, so they are the ministers of the Most High. They they are the whipping stick. That's really what it means. That doesn't mean that the Most High is dealing with them on every, on any spiritual um, subject. They are just a sword. Because guess what? That's the blessing that they received from our forefather Isaac. This is Psalm 17, verse 13. Arise, O Yahweh, disappoint him. Cast him down. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. You see, so the wicked is the sword of the Most High. Another one is Isaiah chapter 10, verse 5. Isaiah chapter 10, verse 5. O Assyrian, the rod of mine anger, and the staff in their hand is mine indignation. Now, if you go into the word indignation there, it says za'aim, za'aim, meaning anger, righteous anger. You know, that's the staff that is in the hand of these devils, man. The righteous anger of the Most High. So if he whips you with these devils and the staff that is in their hand, <clears throat> you've done something, man. You've done something. The same goes for the subject, being subject unto payments. <laughs> You know, if you conduct yourself in a certain manner with money, being covetous, the Most High is going to hurt you in your pockets, man. And how is he going to do that? By sending out these devils, man. Giving you all kinds of tickets, giving you all kinds of uh, 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 taxes or, or, or whatever. Taxes is normal, though. But, you know, sometimes they come out of nowhere, man. And sometimes help also comes out of nowhere paying these things you know you find money on the ground that that happened to me brother had that last uh, a couple of weeks ago find money on the ground you know the most that can help you in all kind of mysterious ways man but you got to do what is right in the sight of your bashim your shot otherwise you will you you will keep getting jacked up man and that's because of this uh, verse 3, for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to evil, to the evil. Wilt thou then not be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. For he is the minister of the Most High, to thee for good. But if thou do that which is evil, be afraid. For he beareth not the sword in vain. For he is the minister of the Most High, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. That's why when we was doing evil as a nation, Every one of us went into captivity. Every one of us went into slavery. 
you know this is second corinthians chapter 2 and uh, slack second corinthians chapter 10 verse 3 for though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh so that's a very important thing to uh, to remember man we do not war after the flesh flesh slack we do not war after the flesh you know for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds and how we pull down the strongholds through through uh fighting um with the scriptures man spiritually you know our battle of our warfare is not carnal but spiritually man they are spiritual so we got to stay spiritual, man, before we get our asses jacked up with these devils, man. And that that be happening on a, on a regular basis, man. That's happening. You know, so as as soon as you see that, you know, you got to you got to take that in, in consideration, man. You got to take that in consideration and refrain thyself from evil. Always, man, refrain refrain thyself from evil. You know, and then the most I will have mercy on you. You know, the most I will have mercy on you. You know, so keep praying. Stay spiritual. Depart from evil. You know, do good unto 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 your brothers, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, first and foremost. So yeah, with that I'ma say call Allah in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai Bashim Kadash. Shalom to the elect.